Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Minish Cap. I'm Agora. And I'm not. And today we are going to mainly be working on cleaning up some collectibles we've unlocked after finishing the second dungeon. So first, let's go speak to Melanie. Wow, that was fast work, but not so fast that I didn't finish your sword. Here, take a look. I call this new blade the White Sword. So because it's a sword and the blade is white, you can put away your grandfather's sword now. Once you infuse it with the power of the element, it will become a sacred blade. So now, the two elements we've gathered finally get to become useful. It's the main point of what just happened. He really wants to tell us about how there's a sanctuary that opens every hundred years in Hyrule Castle. And then telling us more about how we have to gather the four elements, something we're already aware of. Find it right in front of the entrance of the mine you just explored. Okay, so now he's just telling us the best way to get back. Yeah, if only he told us how to actually use them. Use what? Oh, I imagine that's what he's talking about. Oh no. The fastest way to get back is that way straight down from you. Remember tells you just skip down a chunk of the mountain. Hello, Tectoid. Thank you. Too close for comfort at first? Yes. Does your sword do more damage now? Yeah. Kills him in one hit now. That is a helpful upgrade if ever I've seen one. Yeah. Go but, LA. Yeah, that was an annoying bouncer if ever I've seen one. Uh, no pun intended. I feel I should add. Pun definitely intended. I feel I should add. Nope, nope, that's the wrong button. He does have a kinstone fusion, it looks like. Yeah, that's the button I meant to press. And you do have the PC name. Yeah. Save I, some time later by choosing an M. I believe I've said this earlier in the Let's Play, but I have confirmed it. The green kinstone fusions are random in terms of what they uh, cause to happen, but the red and blue ones are set. So that's near the castle? Looks like it. Perfect fit means good luck. And he does not have another. Some characters do have more than one. Yeah, some characters have annoyingly too many. I think you go north, not through the cave, but yeah, that way. It's been a while since we were here now, so it's hard to remember for sure, certain, but I believe that's the case. I don't need it. No need to pick up a heart when you already have seven. Actually, wasn't there a guy in here? He does not have one, though. Annoying. He'll probably have one later. Let's see. I think it wants you to go right a screen for the next collectible. Right a screen? Yeah. Yes, I know. I'm going left. I'm checking to see if this was the area with the, uh, kinstone. No, I don't think you're quite near enough to the castle gates. The front gates, rather. Yeah, we can look at that guy. Good job, buddy. What a useful thief you were. What was down here? Was this a fairy phone? 
No, this was the uh, first guy who gave us the thing. Oh yeah, I remember now. Can't do that quite yet. Ah! I want to. Does he have one? Nope. Yeah, that's the guy we got the bottle from. Okay, so I think I see... I think it wants you to go north before going right. What? I said go right a screen. I think it wants you to go north and then right a screen. Because it doesn't want you in town, it wants you north of town. That wall looks awful suspicious. Just the fact that there's three spots right here. Somewhat. Anyhow, with your new dungeon item, there, that hole looks awfully suspicious. Everything looks suspicious. That lever placed in the middle of an open area only accessible by one means with no other things in said area doesn't look suspicious at all. Can't find me. And the Keatons aren't really great at maneuvering. So or they take off. existing, honestly. Okay, now we have a new shortcut from the looks of it. Mm -hmm, make it work, blah, blah. North Hyrule Field. Hit lever, step bridge, jump down, cross bridge, just to the west of the bridge leading to Hyrule Castle, you'll find a small boulder in your way. I'm not sure that's the one it refers to, because after crossing that, um, is there one right in front of the castle to your north? By one, I mean a bridge. With a... Oh, it's a brick rock. And that is right near a drawbridge. Now there are two different things that are both interesting. Including some things that you can't quite interact with yet. Unfortunately. Oh, hello. One thing that you can, however. More life energy. Well, that's helpful. So wait a minute. I was hoping I'd be able to get there first. So both of those doorways lead here. No, the bottom one didn't lead here. The bottom one led to one that you could only get through the doors. I.e. there was no staircase. Ah, you're right. I can't swim yet. I didn't mean to do that. Yet. Yeah, now it wants you to head towards the castle. Toward the castle. More specifically, into the castle. Like, into the castle, into the castle? Into or the just... castle, into right. the castle. Shut up! I hate this dude. He talks Climb the so steps on the left much. side of the room. And go down the staircase. Hello, door. That, that, I think, is the room you need. Really? I think. Let's see. Let's turn around and down the staircase and walk up and head through the door straight ahead. Seriously. Hey, you said door straight ahead. I said walk up and head through the door straight ahead. After saying that that was the door we needed. No, we're not up those stairs. This is the door. No, the big obvious one on that center thing. Straight down. And then straight left. That, that looked like a stairs. pillar to me. Shh. 
shut up. Oh my lord. Why does he have to talk so much? That's right, not even a sacred place is sacred. Yeah, yeah, we saw that. He just wants to make sure people don't mistake it for a pillar. Now you're just gonna stash those elements back, right? I'm not gonna leave them here for other people to find, right? No one else can get in here. Quote unquote. Powers of Earth and Fire have refused your blade. sword with power and walk over the glowing tile. Perhaps it refers to those splashing spots on the floor around you? Well, what are you waiting for? Try it, Santa. I think you have to hold it and then walk back to the other. Yeah, like once it's charged, walk over the two of them. Yeah. Whoa, you split in two, so this is the power of the white sword. I guess you can double yourself like that anytime you see those panels. Oh look, those panels and two buttons. Which now gives you the freedom to exit the room again. Because, you know, I felt the need to trap you. Yeah. You know, tutorial area is tutorial area. I almost failed it. As anyone with brain know. Now, from there, next we should head back in the direction of town. I need to go home. I knew it! It was Ezlo all along. Basically saying that he cursed Ezlo. Seeming to have combined it with a Cappy created or something, or catch combined them. Turned him into a cap for making a cap, maybe. What small gesture of gratitude do we get? Like, is it money or... Um, I don't need this gratitude. Yeah, I'm sorry, if this is what gratitude's like, I don't think it's for me. These are moblins, by the way. Recurring enemy in most Zelda games. Surprisingly easy to deal with in most Zelda games. Yeah. Please don't. Basically, he was a minish sage, and Vati, as a young boy, became his apprentice. 
But once Ezlo made a hat that could grant wishes for the humans, Vati put it on without permission. It looks more like the hat put Vati on. Yeah. The Light Force, the first time it's mentioned by name, but totally not the Triforce. And it tells us that that old Minish Man down there must, in fact, be Ezlo. Now he's I really hate his this role. guy and how much he talks. I mean, someone has to give you the story, though. No, they don't. Games without the full story aren't fun. Yeah. It doesn't have to come all at once 78 times every time I take 15 steps. I mean, honestly, that wasn't too much. It's not nearly as bad as some other games. Correct. Hello. I remember there's something you can do with those, but I don't know if you can do it yet. Ah, I think I know what it is, actually. And if I'm right, you cannot do it yet. But okay. for now, what you need is to head Didn't back to town. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, now what you need is to head back to town. Steal on the grass. I'm gonna make one stoner very happy someday. Yeah, Zelda. She's already stoned enough, though. Now leave town through the west exit. West? Yeah. First, I'm gonna go south and get the, uh, Kinstone reward. Fair enough, but it's possible that, uh, there will be more stuff to grab down here from those later on, so it may be worth saving it for later. I'm just making a point. You know, that thing I do. Shut up! He yeah, hasn't brought you shit. I don't know why he claims to bring your mail. I think you need to go a little more north to get out. Okay, I think it's west from this intersection. Now go down that ladder. Because if you remember, there was a large stone here. Now that you can make a clone, you have double the strength. Just look at that. Blue Octorox. No Octorox. This also gives you the first randomly, or rather wild spawning mama. Peace. No, I don't think there's too much you can do in this area right now, but there is that cave at the north end that you can bomb your way into.
Bomberly. Present delivery system. Oh, hello. We have them a lot of presents. Now, in general, we need to get to the east side of the Trilby Highlands, which is the main of this general area. Oh no no, pleasure is mine. Travel all over the realm, running verse wherever I go. Here I am returning after a long absence, only find the road blocked. It wouldn't be like such a waste if I hadn't lost half of my kins to him. When misfortune rains down upon my head, it pours in torrents. I think I may have dropped it in the end, I stayed out last night. I see no other course than to put these tragic events to verse. I see stars beyond the rainbow, but I cannot reach them. Though the stone I lost is small, large was its place in my heart. Well then. That was dramatic. That is helpful. Let's see, east side of Trilby, climb steps, push boulder. Just to the right of the small boulder, there are two rocks you can place a bomb between. It doesn't seem to be much reward, but there is a very, very minor thing you can get from there. And that thing is access to a fairy. Or you can all three just show up at the same time in the same exact spot, that's fine too. I wanted to capture one of now you, head you know. south. Uh, <sighs> right. Sometimes I miss the games where you have to do it with a net, just so that doesn't happen. To the western wood. Where story takes over. Yes. Well, Vati the evil one does some evil fucking shit. Assumedly. He has no walking animation anymore. That was both slow and dramatic. <laughs> also, he can give head to the king. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. It looks like you're all here very well. The king of Hyrule has words for you. You all know of the power the Pecora gave to mankind, do you not? The golden light force of limitless magical power. I want it. It is somewhere here in Hyrule. Go now and bring me this power. Man, that roadside prostitute he picked up really changed the king's mood. Birds. Farther south, you should find a boulder to the right, which will give you quick access to South Hyrule Field from here. Now head to the northwest portion of this area. So no, there's no way from here. Hello. And 
head left. And uh, the bird is taunting you, but taunt it back. Now the story requires you to try to cross the sudden swamp, I believe. But we know there's an element waiting for us somewhere in here, so in we go. Come on, Santa. Into the muck with us. I don't think we can walk fast enough to cross this swamp. We're going to have to find some way to get across safely. And with that, we have to head all the way back to Hyrule Castle Town, crossing through South Hyrule Field with that new path we made. Or you can head back up this way. Oh Pretty yeah, we did open a path. Yeah. Asshole. All in all, making the map more explorable from whatever direction you please is a nice thing. Okay, now we're in South Hyrule Field, so the town should be just to the north. And you need to head to the shoe shop. head over to the pot, because once he's asleep, you're welcome. You gotta get free reign of his pot. So not only does he have a random pot in his shop, he has a flower growing through his floor under that pot. Or a weed. Obvious stairs are obvious. So. Guess I have to talk to you. Sleeping man's name is, of course, Rapid Eye Movement. So you need an item from Syrup's hut to wake him, which is back at the Minish Woods. But hey, you've got a nice chunk of the map filled in now. Yeah, for now. You say that like you're going to unfill the map. That's exactly the plan. There's stuff we... You might want to grow back. No, I was hoping we'd be able to do the tiny stuff while we were here, but apparently we can't go outside while tiny from this building specifically. No. Which is annoying as hell. Yeah, now you need to go north and take the northeast exit out of town. Which will get you to Lon Lon Ranch. Yo, wasn't there a guard blocking that entrance earlier? Yeah. Why block it if you can't get out anyway? That looks menacing. Anyway, just to the right you should find some people to talk to. Nah. He lost his key and he can't get inside, and the spare key is also inside. What a great place for it. Talon here has a random green kinsman fusion. And since it, I'm pretty sure it's the piece you happen to find in the grass, it's convenient that you did find it. Is that Castle Gardens? Spawned a golden rope.
I just realized the cap the cows have hair. Yeah. I can, I can see that. No, don't step on it. Please. Not today, sir. Lum on Ranch Key. And opening the door will make them not at all suspicious of why I have their key. Actually, you can't open the door, you have to shrink back. So having their key will make them not at all suspicious of why I have their key. Yeah. Just tell them that you're a really good locksmith. I made this key. My also, the one in your house is not there. Well, once they go in, you just run over where it was and then claim to have taken the other as compensation. I don't know how you got this, but, you know... Now I'm going to fill you home on what happens next. See, once they go in, you can go in and X out the other side of their house, which will allow you to access uh, another part of this area. The first thing that the guide would have you do is go get 50 rupees from a chest in this area. You have room to hold 33 rupees. So we're not going to do that. Yeah, we're going to save that. So but now you head to the northeast part of this area, you should find some sort of sign. Which I think this is exactly where it wants you to get those rupees. Because I know it involves cloning yourself, pushing a block, and opening a chest. I don't know. I saw a spot. I wanted to see what was in it. Anyway, if we head to the northeast, you should find some sort of sign somewhere. Here we go. Can't quite reach Syrup's hut with water blocking. Continue north. 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 The one true direction. And there's a boulder that's movable or something. Which allows for even more easy navigation. And you already know what to do next. I know there's probably something to do with the, uh, the whirlwind, but... Oh, this is what it wants you to do first, is what you are doing. Ah, uh, the tall grass is impassable. Well, I mean, for Link, that, yeah, this size, rather, that would be, like, the equivalent of walking through very closely grown together redwood trees or something. Anyway, red kinstone piece, which, again, is for the non-random fusions, so very helpful. Now you can use the whirlwind. And once you jump in the whirlwind, it wants you to glide straight down to reach a higher platform. Now you should be able to get to another whirlwind from here, which lets you go straight down a bit. Now you can go right to enter the next area we need, Lake Hylia. There isn't too much to do, so just follow the path back to the Minish Woods. And you should find something quite nice very soon. You'll need to get, I think, the Mushroom Rummer. I think the Mushroom is the waking up I am. 
And hopefully the mushroom will cost enough that we can go pick up those 50 rupees after. While we remember. Fine choice, limited time article, one whiff, and you're wide awake. It's called Wake Up Mushroom, 60 rupees. That's perfect. Now back outside. In the southwest of this area, you should find something quite nice. Just chillin'. I just realized how long it's been since I've actually talked. Probably have been a while. Focus. Anyhow, now you simply head back towards Long Long Ranch. Walk straight west, it says. For a new part of Long Long Ranch. And more importantly, a boulder. Boulder. Use the whirlwind, float across the gap to the left to another whirlwind. Hello, Goron Mans. And another... I enjoy that every... The only reason you can't navigate is because there's a small rock on the wrong side most of the time. Yep. Push the small boulder. And most importantly, fuse kinstones with the Goron Man. Now, before doing what the guide would have us do next, we can run back up north to collect those 50 rupees that we ignored. Yep. It's been a long time since the last time I was in the tower. So because we fused with this random-ass Goron, a Goron that hasn't been in town in a while happens to show up and set up shop. It sounds more like those, those were just overlapping coincidences. Yeah. Funny how they overlap for everyone who plays the game, though, huh? Yeah. You know, you need to head through their house to get to it, I believe. I just noticed it, too. We'll be coming back for that at some point. I imagine. I would suspect. Push through here again, and 50 rupees! No reason to be poorer than uh, we need. Anyhow, the next thing that it wants you to be doing is heading south. Specifically going down the screen from where we talked to Mr. Goron. To enter Eastern Hills. Now if we walk down steps, you should find a hole. Which steps? There's... I don't know, it just says walk down the steps. Find a small hole on the right side. Damn you, work. Were you too close? It was counting you as being on that block somehow? I guess. Ah, yes. The Great Fur. Wonder what this one was. The last one wanted us to not lie about bombs. This one wants us to lie about bombs. Welcome to the Adventurer's Spring. Now I have to remember that these options go side to side if there's three, not down. Down is not an option. She needs many rupees, please. Throw all of them in. Alright. Really? You know that if you do this, you'll have absolutely no rupees left, right? 
Will you really throw them all in? You are most kind. I do not really need your rupees, but I will take them anyway. You got a big wallet. Now you can carry more rupees. May light shine on your quest. So now we don't have to worry about hitting that 300 limit. I think the new limit is 500. Next, you head to the west side of the area and find those new farmers. Get those ones. Hey there, dude. Now this Kinso Fusion begins the uh, side quest for Gorons. Because because we did that, this Goron now feels stronger. Which means he can punch uh, Cave into existence in about three seconds time. Look at that, a perfect bit. I believe that was the only important thing you had to do here, however you're welcome to check what that Kinstone Fusion is. Random. It's still better to get it out of the way. By the way, you might notice the names of these farmers were Eeny and Meeny. Makes me makes you wonder where Miney and Mo are. They died. That's why they're taking graves. Yeah, that's an annoying place. Nope. That one can wait. We've been there already. Now you should walk back up. What do you know? Through one one and to the north. I'm gonna check on my buddy real quick. So dude. Oh, and he nice does stairs. stairs. Ah, uh, you could use the white sword right about now. Would you like to borrow it, buddy? After all, it looks like you could use the help of a friend more on. Yeah. You know what would be really nice? If this was Majora's Mask, so you could be that friend more on? Yeah. I don't know, I prefer being a Zora in Majora's Mask most of the time. I actually prefer being a Deku Scrub. Also fair. So we're just going north? Uh, use the arcane in the little hole there. After dealing with the onslaught of Molmen. Good luck finding me, dudes. Which gives you access to the Vale Falls. Here you will find the second type of pea hat, as you can see, which carry bombs. These are the bee hats, right? I'm not sure. However, if they will drop the bombs on if you get near. You can defeat them using bombs or the gust jar. Though it's supposed to be easier to avoid. Anyway, if you climb down the steps and head right, or maybe it's the steps on the right, point is you should find some shit. Oh no, there's two of them. And now you should head back to Long Long Ranch. And from there, back to town. That's a whole lot of nothing. I'm assuming those trees will be cleared out later. Probably by a concern. Yeah, because that looks like that'd just be an easy access path. The fact that it's not just a boulder being pushed in a hole, though. Mm. And also the fact it's right next to a way that honestly doesn't take any longer. So where are we on? Back in the town. To talk to this new uh, Goron merchant and see what he's about. Hey dude, what you about? He sells kinstones. 
Uh, you also have access to beetles since you cleared out the uh, thing earlier. Hi! There's nothing to do with these shops per se right now, but they exist and that is what matters. Right. Just put it in a bottle and good stuff happens when you drink it. Anyhow, we did collect that mushroom while we were out. Hey. Maybe. Put it right in the fucking dice. Ah. Now that we've woken him up, there are more new shoes which have a strange habit of, you know, appearing while he's asleep. And since we are nice enough to wake him, we get free shoes. Well, he's going to finish them up first. And there we go, we get special Pegasus boots. Oh. Unfortunate mans. Now that we've gathered those, though, we are 45 minutes in, so there is still plenty more cleanup to do, but we'll take care of that next episode. Having said that, I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, feel free to hit that subscribe button to follow us for more content. Stay safe, and have a wonderful night. Bye!